Many dreams of a new life down under, but few make it a reality. But we need to face the fact that Australia isn't a cheap place to live. In fact, according to our sources, Australia is the 12th most expensive nation on earth, pricier than Sweden, Belgium and Austria. But it is possible to escape this bruising cost of living by moving to one of these affordable places. While moving to Australia permanently can be challenging for some due to their relatively strict set of requirements for migrants, temporary or working holiday visas are easier to come by. To make it for you guys we made a list of 10 cheapest places to live in Australia. Number 10 is Geelong. Finally, we head to Geelong which is rarely the first stop for foreigners moving to Australia but it could be a good option for anyone looking to live somewhere slightly smaller with a more local flavor than you get in some of the larger or more tourist oriented destinations. Victoria's second city is perhaps best known nationally in what is a sports mad country for its famous Aussie rules team the second oldest in the country. Again the waterfront is very much the center of life in Geelong with an Art Deco boardwalk pretty marina and of course numerous easy to reach beaches. It's also only an hour away from the heart of Melbourne meaning you can enjoy the benefits of living somewhere slightly smaller with all the attractions of the big city, easily accessible too. Number 9 is Perth. Perth is like most cities in Australia, located on the coast with sandy beaches spread out across its sprawling suburbs. Perth is closer to Jakarta than to Sydney and mostly surrounded by ocean to the west and desert to the east. Yet, this doesn't seem to stop the city from growing. Projections estimate that by 2050, Perth will have between 3.9 and 5.4 million residents. It is a major hub for arts and culture with a wide range of theatres and galleries as well as a vibrant music scene. Perth's main disadvantage is that it is quite an isolated place. As the only real city in the vast state of Western Australia, it's a long way from anywhere else and it takes around four hours to fly to the major metropolises on the east coast such as Sydney and Brisbane. The city does have a distinct seasonal climate although winters are still mild with temperatures regularly exceeding 20 degrees Celsius even in the coldest period of the year from June to August. December to March is hot with average highs of around 30 degrees Celsius, a lot of sunshine and very little rainfall. Number 8 is Cairns. Some 2500 km north of Adelaide lies the city of Cairns in northern Queensland, a popular travel destination, most well known for being the gateway to the world famous Great Barrier Reef. Cairns is a great base for anyone who prefers an outdoors lifestyle and would rather avoid living in a big city. It isn't as cheap as it once was, but Cairns is another great escape from the crushing cost of living in Australia's major capital cities. Home to around 150,000 residents, Cairns' median house price of $490,000 is a big draw card for those who'd rather spend their savings exploring tropical North Queensland rather than paying off some monstrous mortgage. Cairns is a coastal town of around 150,000 people, surrounded by thick rainforest and the shores of the Coral Sea. It's clearly a great base for anyone who enjoys diving or snorkeling and it boasts a laid-back atmosphere with an international vibe thanks to its huge popularity with travelers from other parts of the world. It is a major stop on the Australian Backpacker Trail. It has a very different climate to cities in the south of the country. Cairns is a tropical place with the monsoon season running from late November through to May bringing some torrential downpours. Temperatures stay warm throughout the year with July, the coolest month, still seeing average daytime highs of over 26 degrees Celsius. Number 7 is Melbourne. Melbourne is Australia's second city and legitimately claims to be the country's cultural and sports capital. The city's 4 million people love the arts and sports. Also, the city is home to some of Australia's best restaurants and nightlife. With this in mind, it is no wonder that The Economist regularly names Melbourne as one of the most beautiful cities in the world. On the weather side, Melbourne is known to have four seasons in one day. Melbourne is not only great for single expats looking for a change, but also for families. Neighborhoods such as Surrey Hills and Camberwell are ideal for expats with children, while the beachfront suburb of St Kilda attracts millennial. Melbourne is Victoria's economic powerhouse. Up until the 1980s the city used to be called Australia's Rust Belt but, ever since then, 
It has transitioned into a thriving business and service sector. You will find job opportunities not only in Melbourne but also in Victoria State as a whole. While following the seasons, the weather often changes during the day while you wait. Since it is further south than Sydney, winters and summers generally tend to be a few degrees lower, with frost sometimes appearing during the winter months. With this in mind, Melbourne is one of the best and the cheapest place to live in Australia. Number 6 is Canberra. Located in the Australian Capital Territory, Canberra is one of the smallest cities with a population of just over 373,000. With a median weekly income of $998, Canberrans earn about $300 a week more than the average Australian which goes a long way even when things like housing and food are a little more expensive. Long derided by Australians as a boring town where only politicians would want to live, Canberra is currently enjoying a renaissance thanks to its booming hospitality scene. However, it welcomes many workers and visitors to its door as it is the seat of parliament. Canberra has a dry climate and is subject to an icy climate during winter. If you plan to move and live in Canberra, expect temperatures as low as zero in winter or as high as 28 degrees Celsius in summer. With this in mind, we can say that Canberra is one of the best and the cheapest place to live in Australia. Number 5 is Brisbane. Known for its hot and almost subtropical climate, Queensland is also called the Sunshine State. Expatriates moving to Brisbane, the state's capital can expect sunny weather all year round, with a population of 2.4 million inhabitants. Brisbane is Australia's third most populated city, right after Sydney and Melbourne. The city covers an area of 15,826 km square with the city centre located on the banks of the Brisbane River. What draws many migrants to Australia's third city is its climate. Brisbane has warmer temperatures than Sydney and Melbourne, allowing you to avoid Melbourne's notoriously whimsical weather and Sydney's winter cold. There's also an easygoing and relaxed environment that you wouldn't expect from such a large urban centre. Brisbane is one of the warmest cities in Australia because it is located in a subtropical environment and withstands an average temperature of 16 to 25 EO Celsius. It is also close to summer vacation spots like the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast. Eventually, this is what made Brisbane one of the best and the cheapest place to live in Australia. Number 4 is Gold Coast. If you're looking for a more affordable place to buckle up and study while enjoying beautiful beaches and a vibrant nightlife, the Gold Coast is a great option. Although there is no shortage of restaurants, cafes, bars and natural attractions, the city is also known for its educational quality. Gold Coast is Australia's largest non-capital city. Fill the coastal space between Brisbane and the Queensland and SW border. More than 30,000 college students live on the Gold Coast, which is home to the campuses of three Australian universities. The Gold Coast is a famous tourist destination. Travelers love the subtropical climate, canals, and golden beaches. For college students, living on the Costa Dorada require a balance between studying and things like surfing, jungle walking, theme parks, and city entertainment. The Gold Coast is home to a 66-kilometer stretch of Golden Coastline featuring some of the best beaches you'll find anywhere in Australia, not to mention raucous nightlife and plenty of other outdoor attractions. Number 3 is Wollongong. Basically, Wollongong is a coastal city located 80 kilometers south of Sydney. It is on a long, narrow strip of coastline that contains many beaches and a lively city center at a much more affordable price tag than the massive joint 80 km up the road. Most importantly, Wollongong offers an excellent environment for studying and living. The natural environment, the mild climate, and the small population make it an easy place to live. At the same time, it is well connected to a big city and has high educational standards. It is ranked as the most livable small town in Australia and the best small town for students. Wollongong's proximity to Sydney, 80 kilometers makes it a popular choice for students who cannot afford the high cost of living in Australia's largest city, but still want to experience it all she has to offer. Wollongong itself is also a bustling city and is ranked as the country's most livable small city thanks to its beautiful beaches and bustling city centre. Number 2 is Hobart. From its relaxed country setting to its beautiful surroundings, Hobart has a lot to offer. 
away from the hustle and bustle of a city like Sydney or Melbourne. Everything in Hobart seems to be moving at a slightly slower pace. Hobart is the capital of Tasmania, the second oldest city in Australia, and also the cheapest city for university students. While not as common as cities like the Gold Coast or Brisbane, its striking natural beauty and slower pace of life make it a great place to block out distractions and focus on studying. The city is also home to a thriving art scene and family suburbs and is considered a food lover's paradise. Being the southernmost capital of Australia, Hobart lends itself to the coldest temperatures in cities, thereby reaching temperatures as low as 4 degrees Celsius during winter and up to 22 degrees Celsius during summer. For this reason, Hobart is one of the best and the cheapest place to live in Australia. Number 1 is none other than Adelaide. Australia is an expensive country, so of course in global terms, you might argue that there simply aren't any cheap cities to live. However, if affordability is your absolute top priority, then Adelaide is probably your best option and it is the cheapest city in Australia according to our research. While people from other parts of the country do sometimes look down on Adelaide, and while it may not rank as one of the most popular destinations with visitors, it still has plenty going for it. With a population of just over a million, it is the fifth largest city in Australia so you can get a taste of big city living but will be spared the crowds of Sydney and Melbourne. Its metropolitan area stretches almost 100 kilometers along the shores of southern Australia and almost regardless of where you choose to live, you won't be too far from the beach. It's about 20% cheaper to live in the South Australian capital than Sydney or Melbourne. And that's only one of the reasons why Adelaide is such an attractive city to move to. With world-class wineries on its doorstep and stacks of things to see and do in the city center, Adelaide experiences long, dry summers with average temperatures of over 22 degrees Celsius for seven months of the year between October and April. The wettest and coolest months are June, July, and August. Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Bye for now.